95.5 Hits FM, News at 5, brought to you by the Boathouse Seafood Restaurant, South Front Street, Victoria Harbor, Belleville. Give in to your seafood craving. Catch the flavor. Partly cloudy, but clearing into the evening and temperatures dropping to about 14 degrees overnight. It's currently 23 degrees. I'm Kendra Hamilton. A 66-year-old Belleville man has been arrested and charged in a child pornography investigation that has been underway for the past year. Officers with Belleville Police and the OPP's Child Sexual Exploitation Unit executed a search warrant yesterday at a home in the East End where they seized four computers. Nicholas White of Belleville faces charges of possession, making available and accessing child pornography. He was held for a bail hearing today. Meanwhile, Centre Hastings OPP and the OPP Sexual Exploitation Unit have also charged a Madoc man following a year-long child pornography investigation. Police executed a search warrant at a Madoc residence yesterday where they seized two computer devices and other items pertinent to the investigation. 51-year-old Daryl Slane of Madoc is facing several charges, including possession of child pornography and unauthorized possession of a firearm. Slane is held in custody and was scheduled to appear for a bail hearing today in Belleville. Prince Edward County Mayor Robert Quaife says he is seeing several positive signs as they push forward for a new local hospital. A special information meeting was held yesterday at Shire Hall to discuss progress on the project. Quaife says QHC and the local family health team are both solidly behind the project. He says the reaction from the ministry has also been good. What I see now is cooperation on all levels, and Minister Hoskin has uh, personally addressed that himself, saying it's great to see. He loves the model of health care that we're currently looking at providing here. Construction of this new campus model of health care would take place about three and a half years after they get through the approval and design process. Officials with the Lynn say construction could begin in as little as seven years, while Quinty Healthcare says 10 years is a more realistic estimate. The federal government is helping support a big event in the Grafton area. MP Rick Norlock was on hand this morning to announce $50,000 in funding over the next two years for the Shelter Valley Folk Festival. The money was provided through the Canadian Arts Presentation Fund. This year's festival will be held from September 4th to the 6th. Meanwhile, Belleville is getting ready for its own music festival. The All-Canadian Rock Fest starts tonight at Empire Square with Headley headlining day number one. Tomorrow, it's Blue Rodeo with special guest Alan Doyle of Great Big C. And Saturday is Big Sugar and Tom Cochran. Organizer Andy Forge says they are very excited about the whole weekend. We're just so proud to have all these homegrown acts doing their thing. The tickets are selling really well. People have really embraced it. We couldn't be happier. Tickets are still available and can be purchased at the gate or through empiresquare.com. In national news, Liberal leader Justin Trudeau is rejecting the idea of a coalition with the NDP. New Democrat Nathan Cullen thinks voters are so eager to get rid of the Conservatives, they will disregard any potential reluctance they feel about the political arrangement. But Trudeau says there are a number of fundamental issues on which the Liberals and NDP disagree. He says without forming a coalition, he's still open to working with anyone who is elected to the House of Commons. And in a solar system far, far away, there is an Earth-like planet that might harbor life. Scientists announced their discovery today based on observations from NASA's Kepler telescope. Scientists say it's the closest thing we have to an Earth-Sun twin system. In sports, the Lou Lamorello era has begun in Toronto. The Maple Leafs introduced their new general manager at a press conference at the Air Canada Centre this afternoon. The 72-year-old has spent the last 28 years with the New Jersey Devils and has three Stanley Cups on his resume. Canada picked up two more gold medals in water skiing at the Pan Am Games today. Whitney McClintock took gold in the women's slalom event and Dodd Ryan took the top prize in the men's jump. McClintock's brother Jason McClintock took silver in the men's slalom. Also in the games, Canadian sprint sensation Andre de Grasse is through to tonight's semi-final of the 200 meter. The 20-year-old from Markham won gold in the 100 meter last night. The Toronto Blue Jays are on the field in a rubber match of their series against the Athletics in Oakland. The Jays were up 2-0 heading into the third inning. And the Canadian Open is underway at Glen Abbey. Round one is wrapping up with several golfers already through, including the current leader, Emiliano Grillo from Argentina at 8-under. Weather is next. Some things you keep in the family, but this I want to share. Godfather, you have a new attitude. (laughs) I haven't changed, but the boathouse has a tantalizing new menu. Do they still have nightly specials? They do, like pint and pound night Wednesdays. We can all enjoy the nightly specials new menu on the waterfront patio. We? 
Are, are you going to pick up the check? You will pay my bill. Uh, of course, Godfather. <laughs> Summer at the Boathouse Seafood Restaurant, South Front Street, Victoria Harbor, Belleville. Don't go anywhere else. <laughs> Partly cloudy, but clearing into the evening, and temperatures will drop to around 14 degrees overnight. Sunny tomorrow with a high of 27, and sun with clouds on Saturday with a slight chance of showers and a high of 25. It's currently 23 degrees. I'm Kendra Hamilton. 95.5 Hits FM.